Okay, what other hardware are there? Since noise is an issue, it looks as though one of the ways to go around this issue is to control a powerful source of light. I see, since the multiplexing drowns the signal, why not get a much bigger signal? This is funny. Yes, for instance you can see this principle in the illumination-based camera using one pixel at Rice and the one at University of Arizona. Further along, at Columbia they have devised a compressive structured light scheme for recovering in homogeneous participating media. This last approach allows one to contemplate 3D inverse problems for lightly scattering media. What about on the chip side? Has there been any CMOS implementations? On the chip side, there is the Georgia Tech Transform Imager and the EPFL CMOS Imager. Both are performing some convolution between the image and some incoherent transform. What about simply multiplexing the light before it hits the CMOS? At Georgia Tech, there is also another concept where light rays hit optical controllable filters that act as some pseudo-random filters, just before they hit the CMOS. The MIT random lens imager on the other hand does not have controllable filters. Are there any other type of hardware besides imaging? Yes, there has been some work on analog to digital conversion, where the signals to be detected is at a very high frequency. There has also been some work in MRI, since in this technology one has direct access to the Fourier components of the signal. Some example of that work can be found at Stanford. MRI is probably the most advanced technology with regards to implementing compressed sensing. Because of the subsampling capability, it now opens the door to rapid functional MRI. Finally, the folks at UBC have been looking at seismic imaging. In that technology, all the hardware is already built, but it is used in a different fashion, not unlike MRI.